creates fun learning activities. We are college students that create learning activities for kids. Our activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Today I will be showing you a handy trick to answer five questions related to a story. Thank you for joining me to learn today. You will need a blank piece of paper of your choosing and something to write with. For us to understand a story, it's easier if we ask ourselves questions while we read. Questions like who, what, when, where, and why. Or as I like to call them, the five W's. But what exactly do these questions even mean? Five W's, right? Who are the people involved in the story? Sometimes it could be animals. What is the thing or things that happen in the story? When the time things happen? Where the place that things happen in the story? And why, for what reason? When we answer these questions, it's good to keep in mind the following vocabulary. When answering the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why, it's good to keep in mind some elements in the story. For example, character, a person who appears in a story. Sometimes it could be animals or things. Conflict. A problem or disagreement. Event. Something that happens in the story. And setting. The place where something happens. Now let's read a short story. Remember to keep in mind the five W's while we read. It was a beautiful spring morning and Priscilla the bear decided to take a walk through the woods. She was enjoying the sunshine and smelling the flowers when suddenly she heard somebody crying. Priscilla looked around to see who was crying. She spotted a baby bird sitting on the ground next to a tree. She asked, Why are you crying? The baby bird replied, I fell out of my nest and I can't get back up the tree. Priscilla looked up at the bird's nest in the tree and said, I can help you, little bird. Now let's have some fun. We'll create a handy 5W. You can actually use this tool when you read any story. Let's begin. So what is a handy 5W? So just take out a piece of paper. If you're choosing, honestly, you're just gonna put your hand and we're going to draw an outline of our hand. I'm gonna do it with you. It's okay if it's not perfect. Mine probably won't be. It's better if we like do it big because we'll be writing inside the hand. So on each finger, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna write our five W's. So, who, what, when, where,
Okay, so now we're gonna answer questions about Priscilla the bear in our handy 5W. Let's begin answering our questions. So, who is in the story? Who are our characters? That would be Priscilla the bear, right? And a baby bird. What happened in the story? Priscilla heard somebody crying, right? That's what happened in the story, right? The event. When? Priscilla took the walk in a beautiful spring morning. Where did Priscilla take the walk? Where did this happen? In the woods. Now. Yeah. Why was the baby bird crying? What was maybe the problem in the story? The baby bird was crying, right? Because it fell out of the nest. So you see, it's better to answer these questions if we keep the elements of the story in mind, right? So yours should probably look like something like this. The good thing is that we can actually use this when we read any story. Just remember to look at your hand and answer the five questions. To wrap things up, today we learn the questions that we should ask to better understand a story. We also learn how to create a handy 5W who, what, when, where, and why. And we also learn some elements of the story to keep in mind while we answer these questions. You did a great job. Thank you for learning with me today. We hope you come back soon and learn some more. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And until next time,